Randolph, Scott, Nigel, Bruce, Helen, Douglas, Helen, Mac, 1935, she. Following in the footsteps of an ancestor who traveled to the Arctic and discovered a long lost paradise preserved by volcanic heat and a magical flame, well, a flame of physics, a particular type of radiation that continually replenishes cells. It is a modern take on the fountain of youth, so to speak, very much in the tradition of an H.G. Wells or an Edgar Rice Burroughs traveling to the Earth's core or a fantastic journey somewhere to make a great discovery. The film is really outstanding with its choreography, its visuals, its costumes, the cinematography, even in places, just the dialogue itself, the script is just absolutely poetic. It really is astonishingly good stuff. That being said, there are some serious drawbacks. One of them happens to be plot. There's a serious sort of flaw with the characters, or perhaps with the way the story is told, they know they're going on a journey to look for this long-lost fountain of youth in this flame of radiation that replenishes cells. And yet, when they arrive and they find these magical people who have lived for epic amounts of time, they're very befuddled and confused, our explorers are, on how they could be the same people. All this time has gone, but my ancestor was here 500 years ago. Well, you can't be the same person. You were headed out to find a fountain of eternal youth when you headed out. Why would you be surprised that people are still alive? And then when it's explained to them the huge, the epiphany of it, it preserves life. Even though we knew that, that's why we came here. That's what we were looking for, something like this that did this thing. So that part of it felt really clunky. And in fact, the more I thought about it, the script could have easily been fixed, and I don't know the details of the novel it is derived from. I've heard that the novel was set in, in an interior lost city in Africa, and other things were different. So maybe they were trying to either to keep some detail of the novel or planning for, we'd say today, maybe planning for a prequel that showed that earlier journey that's only referenced. But I felt like if you hadn't done that, if you hadn't told the story of the ancestor who'd been there 500 years before and just made it a movie about the discovery of following some legend, some myth, uh, arriving there and, and finding out that they had contact with people before, but discover it as you go and then have the aha, oh, this replenishes cells and you get to live long term. It just, that was the thing that really made the plot feel insufficient care was given to it, while at the same time, everything else around this is so amazing. And just, I mean, it is absolutely for especially 1935, it is mesmerizingly good.